Have you been looking for an open network security architecture that lets you solve new problems as they arise? Well, then you've been looking for the Trusted Network Connect architecture from Trusted Computing Group. Trusted Computing Group is a nonprofit organization dedicated to creating open standards and technologies, like the Trusted Platform Module and the OPAL standards for storage security. But today we're going to focus on the Trusted Network Connect architecture, or TNC for short. The TNC architecture divides network security into two parts, network access control and security automation. Network access control is all about controlling who can access the sensitive parts of your network. You can establish policies for which users, or groups of users, can access which networks, what devices they can use, what level of access they get, and so forth. And then you enforce those policies consistently across all your network technologies, wired and wireless LANs, remote access, and so forth. Now, the key to having consistent policies across all your networks is to separate the policy decision-making function from the policy enforcement function, as illustrated in this diagram. Your policy decision points use a standard protocol named IFPEP to talk to the policy enforcement points for each network. Security automation, on the other hand, operates by having all your security systems share information through standard protocols so they can provide automated analysis and response. As you can see in this diagram, information is shared through a common protocol named IFMAP. The security systems use IFMAP to store information in a database called a metadata access point, or MAP, and to query that database or subscribe to changes to a specific record. For example, a policy decision point can share information about a user who's logged into the network and subscribe to any events pertaining to that user. If the user starts attacking other people, a network intrusion detection system can publish an event about the problem and the policy decision point will be notified via the IFMAP protocol. Then the policy decision point can tell the policy enforcement point to quarantine that user or whatever is called for in your policy. Security automation is essential in today's world of fast-paced automated attacks. The attackers are automated, so the defenders must be also. This frees up our security experts to focus on the most challenging problems instead of chasing routine items. Now, some vendors offer proprietary security automation systems, but that locks you into that vendor in their little world. IFMAP is open letting you choose any vendor. So, to summarize, TNC gives you an open architecture for network security and open standards. You get consistent policies across all your networks, and you get security automation. Oh, but there's a lot more. I've only scratched the surface of the TNC architecture. To learn more, go to trustedcomputinggroup.org and click on the Solutions tab, then Network Security. You'll find white papers, frequently asked questions, presentations, and much more. Thanks for joining me today. Goodbye.